All right, so today's tip is gonna be on neck reining. Have you ever had a horse that, you know, one direction, no matter what, say it's going to the left, he always wants to put his head to the right, and you know, you're trying to always remind him by going to two hands, and you know, you lay that neck rein, and then you bump that nose to the inside, or pull it to the inside, and it just seems like he's just not getting it, or your timing's not quite just where it, the way it needs to be. I'm gonna show you a quick little way that sometimes works. I'm not gonna say this solves all your neck craning issues, but sometimes this, this little trick will help kind of let that horse get things figured out and it makes your timing perfect. Now, I like to do this with Rommel reins, and that's the reins if you're not familiar with them. They're tied together. That way we know the rein length is the same. Uh, and what you're gonna do, it's an old, old trick, been done a gazillion times. Uh, lots of people have done it, but you're going to take your reins and you're just going to cross them. And we know a horse is a creature of habit. You know, and they learn from consistency and repetition. The idea with this is by crossing the reins, pretty simple. Now when I go and steer that horse to the left, that head's going to actually get pulled that direction. I don't have to switch the two hands. Everything's right the way it needs to be. And what happens with enough repetition, that horse starts to anticipate when you lay that neck rein, his head's supposed to go that way just to touch. And that's exactly what happens. So I'm gonna show you here on old Smokey. Sometimes it takes a little bit for him to get it figured out, but they all will. Now, when riding with the reins crossed like that, I don't recommend trying to bridle him up a whole lot. Just work on your directional. And there you guys can see how when I pull that neck rein over, it literally pulls Smokey's head that same direction, which that's what I'm after here. So now what I'm thinking, long term, I wanna be real methodical, real methodical about how I use this, this setup right here. I'm gonna lay that neck rein. When he moves his head over and his shoulders move, I'm gonna release because what I'm thinking about is ultimately I don't wanna ride my horse around with my reins crossed all the time. I'm just using this to try to get through to him to maybe get to that next level. I'm gonna go in that order though, lay that neck rein. When he looks the way I want, I'm gonna release because I'm thinking when I take those reins, when I, when I uncross those reins, I wanna carry that same mindset uh, hopefully over when we uncross those reins. Lay that neck rein, really good. We can do it at any, you know, you can do it at the jog, you can spin your horse with this. It's a great way to kind of sharpen up the start of your spin if you have a horse wanting to look to the outside. It takes a little getting used to because you're going to be so inclined to want to grab the rein and pull it over there, but you don't have to. The more he looks the wrong way, the more I pull him in the direction I want to go. I actually like to use this some for uh, amateur riders as well because it just simplifies things. They don't have to worry about being in two hands because you know you got enough to worry about. You're just trying to stay on your horse and trying to keep him going and listen to your instructor. Uh, this sometimes can make it a little easier because now I can just tell you, pull the horse to the right, take him to the left, just point where you want to go and at least try to get through whatever it is we're trying to work on. And then later down the road, as you get more confident and your horse starts figuring out your cues, you can you know, take those reins off and maybe get into some more complicated stuff. So it's pretty, pretty simple. You guys, you guys saw right there, I just worked on the left side. What I would do myself is I would work, I don't know, maybe two, three days with those reins crossed up like that. Walk and jog, lope my horse, maybe start some spins. Um, you could even, you know, initiate your rollback that same way. But after that horse really got the message of, okay, when I feel that neck rein look this way, look that way, what I would start to do is start trying to wean him off of it. So I'd, I'd, I'd go about half my ride, then I'd take him off and see what happens and see if we can continue on and still be right where I want to be and then ultimately, you know, not have to use it at all. And then I'd just be something that, you know, it's not something I think about all the time, but if I kind of find myself in a rut where it's like, man, this horse just, it's not getting it. I'm going through everything I'm supposed to. His feet are moving. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm laying the rein when I'm supposed to and he's just, He's just not getting it. Sometimes a little tweak like this is enough for that light to click on in your horse's head where he's like, oh, okay, I get it. Um, helps with your timing and then away, you know, you're, you're off and running and, and you're able to move on to the next thing. So real, real simple thing right there to try. Not gonna hurt anything. You know, start off slow, walking and jogging. 
And uh, the great thing is if you don't like it, you can get off and unsnap the reins and put it back the other way. So there's a pretty easy one for you to, to give a try. See you next time. Are you looking to step your game up? Perfect. All you have to do is go to mattmillsrainy.com. It's only $24.95 a month. Sign up today because the key to success is knowing.